What's going on, Easy Agent Proers? It's Mike here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how anybody can be up and running with a Facebook ad within five to ten minutes. It really does not take much at all, um, and I'm going to show you guys how even if you don't have an IDX, if you don't have any listings, anything, you can just use the tools that Easy Agent has available to us and be up and running in ten minutes with a Facebook ad. So let's hop right into computer and go over it. So, so what I'm going to do is use one of the blog posts that are on Easy Agents Pro's page that Easy Agent Pro provides to us that any of us can use and use that to create a landing page so that you know I can get leads to come into my page well not leads but people to come into my page and turn them into leads to read the content that we were given so I'm going to come over here to the page and and as you can see I'm not even inside of the dashboard or anything like that because you don't necessarily need to be I'm just on my home page and what I'm going to do is just come over here to real estate tips and uh, just going to use one of these pages so let me scroll down and find one how to survive and win during the spring home buying season. So this is a good one for a lot of first time home buyers out there, especially during this time period. And as we've gone over before, all you need to do to turn it into an actual landing page is to go to the end of the actual URL and add a pound lock or a pound email. So if I was to go with pound email, all it is going to do once I refresh the page is it's going to ask them to input their email address so that they continue viewing the page or if I change the pound email to pound lock and I uh, refresh the page it's now going to be asking for the first last email and phone number so I'm going to use the actual email and what I'm going to do now is use this link and go over to Facebook and create the actual ad so now that I'm here on my actual page, what I can do is decide what type of ad I'm, this is going to be. And this one is going to be for traffic. So I'm just trying to send people to the actual page. So I'm going to scroll down, change the name of this one to Buyers Spring. Click Continue. Now what we're going to do is scroll down a little bit and create the audience for who I'm going to be targeting. So just as an example my targeting would be a little bit more specific than this in any of the ones that i would actually be using but this would act this would realistically work as well so what i'm going to do is move this over and pinpoint the specific area that i am interested in and drop a pin and by dropping a pin what i can do is decide say right in this Tampa area right there and everywhere within 10 miles I'm going to be targeting now most people may not know uh, the age area age ranges that work best for them so this can be kind of a guess for you however when I was just starting out I thought of it kind of logically I don't want to work in 55 plus community so I changed the age group for the maximum to 54 and most first-time home buyers are around they usually start around the age of 25 or so so that is where I am going to start here so languages you can enter any language that you speak or any language that you want to speak I know English is the one that I'm going to use uh, because I do not speak any other language and there is a bunch of Spanish speakers in my area so I'm gonna scroll down a little bit to detailed targeting now this is where you can get uh, very granular with things. However, if you're just starting out, there's no need to get extremely granular with it, especially with how Facebook is cracking down on a lot of things. So what I'm going to do is just go to browse, go to demographics, go to home, home ownership. And this is going to be potential first time home buyers and people that are renting. Let me close this up now. 
And what you can do after you've put in the first two or a couple of them that you're interested in, you can go down that list and find all of the demographics, interests, and things that you may want to target. However, what you can also do is click on this suggestion tab right here. And if you put in a couple, it's going to start to target. Uh, it's going to be able, to, it's going to pull up some things that you may be able to start to target. So people that are likely to move, I want to target them. Uh, people that are interested in looking at Zillow, I want to target them. People interested in buying a house. Uh, people that are interested in house hunting, so on and so forth. You can go through and start looking up a whole bunch of different ones that can come up. There are going to be tons of them. So we can scroll down a little bit, exclude people. The main thing that I'm going to be interested in excluding is real estate. And what you're going to do is anything for behaviors or employers for real estate or real estate brokers, I'm going to exclude them. So right there. There's going to be this one right here. Um, I, believe, I believe there's one more that I usually like to use, which is, yes, yeah, these three right here. Okay, so that should be good for this here. So what I recommend is to save this audience. By saving the audience, you are going to not only uh, save yourself a lot of time in the long run but you're also going to be able to edit this on the next time around if you decide that you want to make some changes to this ad set so from here you're going to scroll down uh always remove automatic placements this is one of the things that uh i learned a while ago and it saves you a lot of money because we want to if you go down to edit placements with automatic placements, you're going to have all of your ads in like instant articles and on the right hand column and in Instagram and all whole bunch of other apps and things where most people aren't really looking. So the only place where I would like to have my ads is inside of the news feed itself. So everywhere else I close out of and do not use. All right. So I leave the I leave where the ad is going alone. Now the daily budget, if you're just starting out, I always recommend putting it around like five or ten dollars or so. That way you can learn what's going to work best for you in your area without spending a whole lot of money. So you can just put it at five dollars and you could be good right there. And you should leave it for uh, run the ad continuously. Just make sure you don't forget about it. Um, the reason why you should do this is Eventually, probably after 24 to 48 hours or so, you can go back in, look at your analytics and see how the ad is performing and you can make changes and tweaks to it and decide if you want to continue to run the ad or if you want to make any changes or stop running it altogether. So optimization, I optimize for link clicks. I don't want to pay when people are showing my ad. I want to pay when people actually click on my ads. Um, uh, bid strategies, um, I leave this ad to get the most clicks for my budget. And then I get down to when you get charged, I change this to a link click. Um, I leave this there because I don't want to pay for impressions. I want to pay for uh, the amount of clicks that I'm actually getting. So I'm going to come over here to continue. So when it, you're going to scroll down and for this, I'm using a single image and I'm going to scroll down a little bit more. So when you scroll down, I've already insert the website URL into the actual page and if you scroll up you can see that the image was already put in here from the website itself so from here all you have to do is update the text a little bit the text is this area right here so what you're viewing is the mobile news feed and you want to change this to desktop so that you can see everything so this text right here is right here so I'm going to change this to something from the actual site. So looking up the actual page, you're able to see that it's in regards to buying a home during the spring season. So let's change this to something along the lines of, if you are interested in purchasing a home in the spring or summer, click the link below to view some tips to make this process easier. All right. And from there, the headline, we're going to change this to how to buy a house in the spring and summer. All right, we're going to call to action is going to be 
uh, learn more because that's pretty much what we're doing. We're teach, we're giving this information to somebody that may want to learn it. I'm not going to overlay any images. The newsfeed description is this right here. And if you are going to put something down there, it should mirror what you have up here in the text. So something along the lines of uh, buying a house this spring or summer. Click the link to get some tips. All right. And the display link is going to be this right here. You can leave it as is, or if you want it to be something else, you can change that up. So from here, you're going to uh, enable your pixel if you don't already have it enabled, and then click confirm, and you are going to have your ad up and running. So it's literally just that simple to create an ad from scratch, have it up and running, whether you have leads, no leads, listings, no listings, whatever it is, you can get started. There's no excuse not to be running any ads and be testing and figuring out what's working best for you and your market. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them down below. We'll be down there answering all of them. Uh, if you like the video, be sure to leave it a like. It lets us know you enjoy these types of videos. If you're new, be sure to subscribe so you're not missing out on any new videos that we put out. My name is Mike and I'll see you in the next one.